time to sharpen your mind to the test uh, in the Discem Junior Brain of Cape Talk for a chance to win your share of 32,000 rand and the title of this week's Discem Junior Brain of Cape Talk. And the winner uh, of this round uh, taking home 3,000 rand. Thank you very much. Just a reminder, if you are aged uh, between 12, 13 or 14, please register at capetalk.coza uh, and play the online general knowledge game for juniors. We are looking to see uh, if you think you've got what it takes to become uh, the Discam junior brain of Cape Talk. OK, we are going to crack on. We are going to meet our five contestants, uh, which is very, very exciting indeed. Uh, we have already in studio 14-year-old Armand from Pinelands. Hello, you're way over there, but welcome. Uh, a very good morning to you. Uh, Armand is uh, a student at Rhonda Bosch boys his favorite subjects at school are languages oh hello khoemora molweni sabona dumelang uh, and uh, as well as maths and economics, he also enjoys reading playing and watching sport uh, and supports uh, chelsea fc in the premier league okay and the proteas a very good morning to you armand good morning how are you feeling uh, a little bit nervous but excited you look confident if i may say so sir <laughs> thank you good all right <laughs> hello john Hello, Sarah Jane. How's your Modelo Oblongata this morning? <laughs> um, giving me a bit of jip. <laughs> well, there's a lot of jip going around in Cape Town at the moment, there is. isn't there? Good. OK, are we... Yeah, shall we do it? Shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? I'm on you. World club champions. That's not bad. Chelsea FC. Yeah, not bad at all. What do you think of the pro tiers and um, how they didn't perform in, in New Zealand? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah, I think is about all you need to say. Just a reminder, people, that things are slightly different on Saturday morning in that instead of 60 seconds and 15 questions, we have 90 seconds and 25 questions. And because this was a bit of an issue with one of the adult brain rounds that I was involved with yesterday, just a reminder that the rule says if you pass a spelling question, the quiz master must spell out that word. I did that yesterday because one of the contestants passed the spelling word and people took some umbrage at that and I had to remind them, Sarah Jane, that rules are rules. Indeed they are, John. And not to be broken. No. Well, not in public anyway. <laughs> right, Armand, you setting the bar. Do you feel good about starting first or would you have preferred to be later once you'd seen how the other contestants are doing? Um, no, I think it's better to start. Get it out of your mind. OK. <laughs> right. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word density. Density. D E N S I T Y. Correct. What is a third of 24? Eight. Correct. Which word is a synonym for amazing, incredible, or risky? Incredible. Correct. Complete the saying there's a time and a what for everything. Place. Correct. Which animal is a carnivore, dolphin, or goose? Dolphin. Correct. How many E's are there in the word conference? Three. Correct. Which country's people are known as the Afghans? Afghanistan. Correct. On which day of the week is Mother's Day celebrated? Uh, Mondays. Sunday. Name the adjective in this sentence. She bought a beautiful dress. Beautiful. Correct. Which sport uses the terms lob, tram lines and double fault? Tennis. Correct. What does the abbreviation DIY stand for? It's pass. Do it yourself. On which continent is the country Argentina? Uh, South America. Correct. Does the word benefit mean harm or advantage? Advantage. Correct. What, beginning with R, are cold-blooded egg-laying animals with scales? Reptiles. Correct. Which country uses the dollar as currency, Canada or Mexico? Canada. Correct. Which city is in Africa, Dar es Salaam or Marseille? Marseille. Dar es Salaam. In which city is the home ground of the rugby team called the Sharks? Uh, Durban. Correct. True or false, the earth is a perfect sphere? False. Correct. In which province is the town George? Uh, Eastern, Eastern Cape. Western Cape. Give the past tense of the verb bleed. Bled. Correct. And we managed to complete 20 questions. A very, 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 very strong performance to start off the round of Junior Brain. <laughs> You've clearly never taken your mother <laughs> breakfast in bed on Mother's Day Sunday. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think your mom's going to be too happy with you about that one, but never mind. DIY stands for do it yourself, and then you were right, 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 right. Um, Dar es Salaam is um, part of Tanzania, and Marseille is in France, so you got that one wrong as well. But you got very, very, very few wrong. You scored, Armand, a total of 16. 
which is really good. Sarah Jane? Fant sorry, yes, I'm just... Uh, good, all right. <laughs> I'm stunned by... I'm wondering how I would have fared, John, at the age of 14. The answer is not well. I'll be honest with you. And at the age of mid-30s, as you are now? Thank you very much indeed. Not well either. <laughs> uh, good, all right. Well done to Armand. Let's meet our next contestant. 12-year-old uh, uh, Thomas uh, from Newark. He was uh, Tuesday's junior brain of the day. He's in Grade 7 at Saxe. His favourite subjects at school are geography and maths. He's also a keen sailor. Hello, Thomas. Hello. You? Good hat. Thank very you. strong hat. How are you feeling? You're up number two. Are you happy that you've gone, you, you didn't have to take the lead or that you've gone at the end? Um, I think um, I think it's better to not start first. But <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Second's a nice place to start. Are you calm and collected at this point? I'm very nervous, but I think I can be calm, yeah. Is your nervousness in relation to your proximity to John Matham? Not really. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all, he well, says. What, well, happened? My, my what happened to the fear factor that I used to instil in no, young people? No. They used to be scared of me, they're it not disappeared. anymore. This is the new normal, John. <laughs> all right, OK, thanks very much indeed, Thomas. All the best to you. Uh, Thomas, Barcelona FC, um, not in great shape at the moment, but they're rebuilding. They've got some incredible, as you'll know, incredible young players. And, yeah, watch them against Napoli. It's probably a little bit late for you, or did you watch it, record it and watch it? Um, I saw some of the highlights, and uh. we had a really exceptional second half, but the first half wasn't yeah. very good. OK, I, look, I mean, I'm, I'm outside of the English Premier League. Barcelona is very much my favourite team, so I really do hope that Xavi is able to bring them back. I, The best sporting experience of my life is being at Wembley for the final of the European Champions in 2011 when Barcelona beat Manchester United 3-1. And even though my team lost, man, it was exciting to be there. 16 is what you need to take us into sudden death. 17 or more, you're the outright leader. Are you ready? Yes, I am. OK. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word deposit. D-E-P-O-S-I-T. Correct. What is half of 28? 14. Correct. Which word is a synonym for gigantic? Huge. Minute or enormous? Enormous. Correct. Complete the saying, first come, first... Serve. Correct. Which animal is a herbivore, pigeon or owl? Pigeon. Correct. How many E's are there in the word energetic? Two. Three. Which country's people are known as the Dutch? Holland. Correct. In what month of the year is Father's Day celebrated? Pass. June. Name the verb in this sentence. He speaks four languages. Speaks. Correct. Which sport uses the terms bicycle kick, penalty and handball? Soccer. Correct. What does the abbreviation FYI stand for? For your information. Correct. On which continent is the Missouri River? Pass. North America. Does the word swindle mean cheat or scared? Cheat. Correct. What beginning with M are animals that call, that feed their young milk? Mammals. Correct. Which country uses the pound as currency? England. Nigeria or Egypt? Nigeria. Egypt. Which city is in Africa? Venice or Addis Ababa? And Van Venice, second one. Addis Ababa. In which city is the home ground of the soccer team Kaiser Chiefs? False. Johannesburg. True or false, the Earth's course around the sun is a perfect circle? False. Correct. In which province is the town Bethlehem? Um, Northern Cape. Free State. We managed to complete 19 questions. You started very well, and then you had a couple of... Uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day are not important in the lives of our contestants so far. Um, but I do think that it's, it's easier to know that Mom's Day happens on a Sunday than to know that Father's Day happens in June. So mm. I think you were a little unlucky with that one. And uh, then, yeah... Um, Egypt uses the pound, Nigerians use the naira, don't they? I think that's their currency. You're looking at me blankly, Sarah Jane. And Addis Ababa, we need to refer that one to the judges because there was a little bit of confusion, but we're accepting that. Venice is the... Uh, La Serenissima is in Italy, and the Kaiser Chiefs have their home in Johannesburg. And, Thomas, you did very well. Not enough, to, unfortunately, for you to stay in the competition, but you did manage to get 13 correct answers. Well done. Thank you.
Well done, Thomas. All right, let's bring in uh, our next contestant, uh, 13-year-old. There she is. Hello. Uh, 13-year-old Zoe, uh, who she's turning 14 in July. Uh, and she was Wednesday's junior brain of the day. Uh, she's in grade nine. Her favourite subjects include history and geography. She loves reading. She loves reading uh, nature and going on hikes. Hello, Zoe. Hello. Hello. Are you all right? A little I, bit nervous. Uh, yes. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You love reading. Give us your, give us your, what's in your top five books of all time? Um, that would definitely have to be The Book Thief, Saving Amelie. Um, I didn't know, you're going to rattle off a load. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take those, I'm going to take those from you. You say that you're nervous, I feel I'm sensing quiet confidence. Underneath the nerves, I'm sensing quiet confidence. You're the first girl up. Don't let us down. Have you read Marcus Zusak's book, no, The Book Thief? No, I haven't. I, I, I'm I afraid to say I've seen, I've seen the movie adaptation, <laughs> says the author. Uh, but no, I haven't. But it's, uh, right. yeah. All right. uh, on your recommendation, Zoe, I'm going to go to my library. The book is better. The, bo the book's always better. Not always, but mostly. We'll debate that after this. Yeah, I think some of the James Bond books were nowhere near as good as some of the James Bond films when the James Bond films were made from Ian Fleming's books. And the then. debate is over. OK, there we go. <laughs> Sorted. Good. Well Sorted. done. Good. Crack on. Uh, Zoe, so you know what you have to do. You have to do uh, at least 16 correct answers. Any more than that, and I think the remaining two contestants will be really, their knees will be shaking with nerves. But 16 takes us to sudden death, which I do like, even though the contestants don't. And we understand why. Are you ready, Zoe? Yes. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Whoa. Spell the word digital. D I G I T A L. Correct. What is a quarter of 28? Pass. Seven. Which word is a synonym for begin, launch, or terminate? Launch. Correct. Complete the saying a what is only as strong as its weakest link? Chain. Correct. Which animal is an omnivore, a baboon or a wildebeest? Baboon. Correct. How many E's are there in the word semester? Three. Correct. Which country's people are known as the Swiss? Switzerland. Correct. On what day of the week does the Easter long weekend begin? Friday. Correct. Name the noun in the sentence. His work is very difficult. Work. Correct. Which sport uses the terms drop, kick, scrum and ruck? Rugby. Correct. What does the abbreviation FAQ stand for? Pass. Frequently asked questions. On which continent is the Rock of Gibraltar? Pass. Europe. Does the word amiable mean angry or friendly? Friendly. Correct. What beginning with F are animals called that have scales, fins and gills? Fish. Correct. Which country uses the dollar as currency? Australia or Tanzania? Australia. Correct. Which city is in Africa, Alexandria or Brussels? Alexandria. Correct. In which South African city is the home ground of the rugby team called the Lions? Pass. Johannesburg. True or false, the sun consists only of gases. Pass. True. In which province is the city Pochestro? <sighs> I'm sure you know. It's in Northwest. Okay, so we managed to complete 19 questions. A um, couple that didn't quite work out. I'm not sure why you passed a true or false question. That was an accident. <laughs> Dear. Um, what would you have guessed? True. It is true, yeah. So I pity you passed that one. Um, quarter of 28, so math's obviously not a strong point, so you didn't have a go at that one. And I think I've given the answers to all of the others that you either passed or got wrong. We completed 19 questions, and Zoe, you scored the same as did Thomas. You scored 13. Well done to you. Thank you. Well done, Zoe. Uh, and next up is Tianara, 13-year-old Tianara, uh, who was Thursday's junior brain of the day. Of course, she's uh, from Melbostrand. Uh, she's in Grade 8 at the Fellowship College in Melbostrand, and uh, her favourite subject at school is maths. Is maths. Why? I don't know. I just <laughs> like the challenge of it. Oh, well, there we go. That's exactly why. That's fantastic. She's also an avid reader. She likes Elon Musk. Why, Tianara? What's he ever done for you? Not really. <laughs> I, d I don't know, except I like how he's trying to change the world for the better and how he's trying to save humanity. That's as good a reason as any, Tianara. Yeah, beautiful name. Thank you. Well done, Mum and Dad. <laughs> Tianara, you need to get 16. I think you know that by now. As you were listening to the other contestants play 
Did you, are you answering their questions in your head? Yes. <laughs> and how were you doing with the three rounds before this? Pretty well. Okay, well, let's hope you do pretty well in your own round. It is slightly difficult, more difficult, because you've got a clock ticking and, you know, the pressure's on you and it's all live and everything. But good luck to you. We like sudden deaths, so please try and get at least 16. Maria, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word genuine. G. E-N-U-I-N-E Correct. What is a third of 36? 12. Correct. Which word is a synonym for crash, rectify or wreck? Wreck. Correct. Complete the saying. You hit the nail on the... Head. Correct. Which animal is a carnivore, falcon or sparrow? Falcon. Correct. How many E's are there in the word elementary? Two. Three. Which country's people are known as the Danes? Skip. Denmark. In which month is Arbor Week celebrated every year? October or September. S refer, name the pronoun in this sentence they decided to leave early. They. Correct. Which sport uses the terms leg spin, slips and twelfth man? Skip. Cricket. In computers, what does the abbreviation WWW stand for? World Wide Web. Correct. On which continent is Mount Fuji? Asia. Does the word apparent mean obvious or unclear? Obvious. Correct. What beginning with I are animals that have three pairs of legs? Insects. Correct. Which country uses the pound as currency, Algeria or Sudan? Algeria. Sudan. Which city is in Africa, Lagos or Dublin? Lagos. Correct. In which city is the home ground of the rugby team called the Bulls? Durban. Pretoria. True or false, the moon is about half the size of the earth? True. False. In which province is the town Springs? Skip. How 10. So 19 questions as well. We've been very consistent with that one. Uh, elementary is E-L-E-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. So that's three. Uh, the Danes live in Denmark. That Arbor Week is a tough, again, it's a tough question. Um, well, what, um, what Tianara said is, September or October, um, or September or October. It is September, but I don't think you're allowed to make a choice. I don't think the judges are giving you that one. Cricket, leg spin, slips, and twelfth man. Mount Fuji is Japan's most famous mountain, so that is in Asia. It is Sudan that uses the pound. Algeria uses a franc, I think. I'm not very good at these, am I? These <laughs> currency questions, and the moon is about twenty-seven percent the size of the Earth, so not half, which would be 50%. Uh, Tianara, they are not accepting the Arbor Week answer. Unfortunately, I think the pressure might have got to you and you scored only 10, but thanks for playing. Well done uh, to Tianara. And uh, taking the chair now is 14-year-old uh, Taban Hamza. He uh, turns 15 in October. And, of course, he was Friday's uh, junior brain of the day. Lives in Power North uh, and goes to the Dar al Shifa School in Lansdowne. His favourite subject, science and maths. This is interesting. He lo It's not interesting. Uh, he loves listening to John Matham. During the drive home oh, in the I afternoon. Think, I think we're looking at our winner. That's interesting. I think, what and do you he do? likes Manchester United. Double we're looking at our winner. Taman, how do you spend time Saturday and Sunday 7 till 10? Not not listening Sleeping. to the radio then. Sleeping, Sleeping. probably. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Which is what you would be doing if you weren't. If I weren't <laughs> broadcasting on the wireless. How are you feeling? I'm good and used. I'm very good. Thank you very much indeed. Excited? Nervous and excited. That's the only way to be, I think, when you're going into this. You're, you're the last contestant. Is, is that? Did you want that as the pick of the draw? No, not really. No, OK. Well, it's what you've got. Good luck to you. <laughs> so you are our last remaining chance at a sudden death. The Algerian currency, put this in your brain and keep it there, Sarah Jane, is the dinar. Yes. Of now that I say the word, both of us go, of, yes, course, of course, we knew that. Yes. You need to get at least 16, 17 or more. You're the winner and you would... Add 3,000 rand to the 1,000 rand that you already have won. Good luck to you, Maria. Start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word kingdom. K-I-N-G-D-O-M. Correct. What is half of 34? 17. Correct. Which word is a synonym for dull, lifeless or keen? Lifeless. Correct. Complete the saying, curiosity killed the... Cat. Correct. Which of these animals is a herbivore, koala or fox? Koala. Correct. How many E's are there in the word resident? Two. Correct. Which country's people are known as the Ivorians? Ivory Coast. Correct. In which month is International Workers' Day celebrated? 
June. May, name the adverb in this sentence. She can speak German fluently. Fluently. Correct. Which sport uses the terms medley, freestyle and dolphin kick? Swimming. Correct. What does the abbreviation Q and A stand for? Questions and answers. Correct. On which continent is the Balkan Peninsula? South America. Europe. Does the word benevolent mean angry or kind? Kind. Correct. What beginning with A are animals called that live on land and in water? Amphibians. Correct. Which country uses the euro as currency, Belgium or Russia? Belgium. Correct. Which city is in Africa, Athens or Accra? Accra. Correct. In which city is the home ground of the rugby team called the Stormers? Cape Town. Correct. True or false? The planet Jupiter consists only of gases? True. Correct. In which South African province is the town Frankfurt? Northern Cape. Free state. Give the past tense of the verb throw. Through. Correct. Which is a cartoon dog, Wallace or Gromit? Do you know the answer to that? No. Gromit is the dog in that pairing. Um, yeah, 1st of May is always International Workers' Day. Uh, Ivory Coast, you said, which is correct. You could have said Cote d'Ivoire, which is kind of what they say. The Balkan Peninsula is that part of the world which has been troubled a lot by war and uh, civil strife. And otherwise, I think you've got pretty much everything wrong and you needed to get 17 or more to win outright. What do you think? Maybe just short. Mm. You weren't just short, you got 17. You are the winner. You have won Junior Brain for this week and you've won another 3,000 Rand. Wow. Well done to you. Well, indeed. Sarah Jane? Yeah, I'm, I'm, st I'm stunned for you. How are you feeling? I just can't believe it. You, you can't believe it. Well, I can believe it. Congratulations. Uh, look, at, to... look, at, look at the parents. Oh, oh, whoa, look at... <laughs> the money's not yours, yeah. Dad and Mommy. Step the away. money is not yours. <laughs> Congratulations uh, to Turban Khamza. You are our junior brain of the week. You've won 3,000 Rand thanks to Cape Talk and Dischem. A winning mind in a healthy body. Congratulations to our other contestants, Armand Mayer, Thomas Henshawood, Zoe Haupt, uh, Tianara Wade. But it is uh, Turban Khamza who takes... Uh, takes the title. Congratulations.